dearest heart there are times when we must let go of logic and trust our feelings now is such a time it is important to trust your intuition as much as you need to pay attention to what you feel inside what is your heart saying if you could do or have a anything what would it be so the answer to those questions dwells not in your mind but your heart so for your heart holds your true essence and potential your heart is the gateway to your soul so the way forward may seem hidden but if you follow your instincts you will be fine this message is confirmation that you are intuitively guided and protected as courage and faith are called for and everything is possible provided that your outer vision aligns with your inner purpose so keep a daily journal write down your thoughts and everything that you feel write down every thought that comes to mind without judgment or analysis so let them come to you bear and net your own intuition holds great wisdom listen to it and you will be guided safely and lovingly so beginning something is exciting now is the best time to set new goals idea and put together positive intention to manifest your dreams preparing for a new beginning and this is a part of a rebirth and transformation so especially when you are going through a challenging situation rebirth and it is about to happen in your life let go of your study it's time start creating the new energy with memories and being grounded in the present you may be experiencing challenging times but keep mind that it is a learning experience and it may bring you out of your comfort zone as everything is changing it is time to accept and adjust the way things are now as you evolve and grow spiritually so focus on having a clear vision as you dig deep inside soul center you will release old past wounds and ignite positive energy remember everything happen for a reason and it is a part of you and makes you the person you are today so dear souls know that stay present and flexible many changes are going on for you and around you these changes are not only good but necessary bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past of the future you can embrace the prospect of starting out on a new journey or project even though you don't quite feel ready or prepared you do not necessarily having a solid plan in place or do you really know where you are headed remaining excited about the potential will benefit you upcoming changes will enable a new direction to emerge see the good that is already in your life and be thankful for it every day there are blessings all around you 
put your strengths and constructive attributes into something positive be in the flow open your eyes and your heart and enjoy this process there is an easy and beauty to how you handle this task don't be so hard on yourself for feeling lost confused or like you have not achieved all that you wanted to achieve life would be boring if you would turn it all already if you had no more room to grow or things to learn be patient you will eventually figure it all out and everything will make perfect sense every experience will get you to where you are supposed to be every loss every heartbreak and every mistake don't be afraid to mess up and don't expect success overnight get lost get so damn lost and find yourself over and over again believe in yourself forget about what other people think and trust your journey let yourself feel that sadness you have been carrying along throughout the journey let yourself grieve then when you are ready slowly and gently start making tiny spaces for hope and joy to come in so do not be afraid of welcoming something beautiful into your life again the struggles are a part of your journey but they are not all of it so there is so much more to you than what you have been through notice what you still have look ahead from here onwards take each new step with hope and keep going so dear souls know that someone is betraying you in a significant way so you are looking for a stable and long lasting relationship in your life right now you could be hurt broken over something or someone but even after getting betrayed or left out your heart have not give up on love and you still have hope that you will have a loving relationship and you will get the love you desire from your partner so because you truly deserve it your next partner will be someone who will come in your life when will not looking for it day separately so because now you are only focused on relationship in the only thing you observe in someone's partner someone's relationship how someone treat their partner your next partner will bring not only stability in your life but they will also bring a lot of peace and happiness by their presence this person can be work something related to court legal matters business government employees makeup studio gym self awareness for many of your next partner will be involved in their family business or their family traditional work your next partner will show you that how adorable you are this person will put their heart out in front of you they will not hide anything from you and they will expect the same from you that in your relationship both of you confess your feelings openly to each other so your next partner can be your long known friend or also could be your ex partner who left you for their career or their family or any other reason but in a while they have a realized that you are their soulmate and without you they cannot be happy so they come back to you this person will be really good looking
because they have worked hard on their looks and for some of you it is god gift that your partner is really good looking and attractive personality holder they can have tattoo on their body black brown hair black brown eyes fair to whitish complexion so dear souls know that things have recently ended between you and someone special but here is the kicker they have regrets deep down inside and they are just masters at concealing those emotions their family or friends were the biggest negative influencers in their life leading them to make a tough decision and end the relationship your relationship lacked the stability and security it needed to flourish despite feeling like they finally found someone who made them feel at home your person self accepted this connection and now while they are left crying and grieving over what could have been deep down they know that if they had just been honest about their feelings things could have turned out differently but here is the hard truth they lack the courage to confront their true emotion instead they took the easy way out but guess what they are not happy now that you are gone you deserve someone who is willing to be open and honest with you so don't settle for anything less remember my friends life is too short to waste on someone who can't confront their own emotion keep your head held high and know that there is someone out there who will cherish and appreciate you for who you are stay disciplined and in control this weekend even if other creates minor challenges past issues might surface causing conflicts amidst confusion stay grounded to avoid fatigue expect good news and clarity in relationships but exert will power and self control be aware of potential jealousy and power games as that might lead to ego clashes watch your thoughts as overthinking or having too much on your plate can lead to tiredness and fatigue if something seems too good to be true then don't ignore your instincts about it it probably is maybe you have someone around you doing a lot of boosting but if you peel back the layers it is built up on half truth embellished to make them look more successful than they are don't be afraid to call out they are boosting if you need to otherwise just refuse to engage with it maybe this is around an opportunity being offered to you which on the surface look to be exactly what you wanted but on delving deeper you see that it requires more of you than you are prepared to give for example a job offer that turns out to have a poor work life balance so just be wary and check the detail before you sign up or agree to anything today or over the next week or so make sure you know everything you need to know before you sign on the dotted line or follow after the whatever is catching your eye there could be a catch if you are not careful there must just might be something better out there which is much better suited to you it all starts in your mind everything taking place in your life right now is designed to help you reach your deepest vision
the images you visualize in your mind backed by the feeling of already manifesting those visions create miracles in reality these are not miracles but divine order you are attracting what is in harmony with the frequency you predominantly occupy if you want the next level of life reach the next level of vibration so mountains will be moved from your path when you believe fully in yourself have no fear for the journey ahead no doubt the universe will not present you with a test that you are not capable of passing the more difficult the test the greater the reward you have been presented with many difficult challenges but they were all designed to bring out the best in you all obstacles are clear from the path and thanks to your belief in self so dear souls no doubt the sacral chakra will be feeling particularly active right now as we are or have already started stepping into a space of creation old pain in particular will be releasing if you have not already cleared this to help you to move forward from this experience and to hold compassion for what has been realizing everyone acted through their own wounds at this time and taking back your power from this situations you may also find triggers come up regarding body image and appreciating the body you have this will be especially true if you are someone who tends to yo yo diet or have unhealthy eating patterns so you will be called to look at this and how you can change behaviors around eating that support your body better so you may find yourself wanting to make changes to your diet we are rising up into higher consciousness and you may be finding some foods no longer seem to agree with you or you have lost your appetite for allow yourself to incorporate these changes make them gradually if you need to so that your body and mind adjust and the change is not a shock that makes you crave what you are giving up so maybe this is around eating less meat going vegetarian or vegan eliminating processed food or excess sugar etc take for resonates and make the changes you feel called to make as a result of listening to your intuition and your body so dear souls know that the real magic is when you don't know how it's going to happen you don't know if you are ever going to make it you don't know where this road will take you or if it is even taking you anywhere at all but still you step forward and keep showing up even on your hardest days sometimes your steps are small other times they are a little bigger but you are not worried about the pace because you trust that what is meant for you would not miss you and that you are exactly where you are meant to be in this moment So the real magic is when your mind tries to convince you that you can't but you step forward anyway because your beating heart tells you that you can. The real magic is you it is your courage and commitment your belief in a universe where all things are possible.
your refusal to listen to the outer voices over that quiet voice within it is in your breath it is in your energy it is who you are at your core you are the gift you are the spark you are the magic to attract everything that is good for your soul you first got to know your worth when you see yourself worthy of all the love and affection you truly want you never settle for less when we give others the permission to decide our worth we get into toxic relationships everything that we attract reflects a lack of self love within us the root of all this is the conditioning we received as a child the system of reward and punishment creates a belief in us that we are not worthy as we are to become worthy we have to impress others and seek validation you have to end this toxic cycle by validating yourself and knowing your worth even at your rawest you are worthy of everything because in the eyes of the universe you are perfect as you are and you are whole because you take things to heart because you are the type of person who looks for solutions to every problem because you will always take ownership of things even if it no is not yours to do so so when relationships comes to that end as they do you are too focused on solution and doing the right thing and loving someone who might be the problem to begin with because it is never been about the way you love but rather others in ability to mirror such things that come naturally to you you think you lost something but the only way to lose anyone or anything is to not see its value it is to not appreciate what is in front of you it is to not love when you are given the opportunity and you have never had that problem you think it is your loss but they lost you even if it does not feel that a way dear souls know that don't be afraid to be the person who has not yet figure out their life calling don't be afraid to be the person who is figuring out their purpose in life Don't be afraid to be the one who is honest enough to admit and you are working on getting to where you want to be. Don't be afraid if you are not as successful as those around you. If you are not as far ahead as you want to be, don't be afraid of being the only one in the room. who thinks differently acts differently speaks differently and feels differently don't be afraid if well does not happen to be by your side be the person who is honest enough to admit where they are be the person who does not have to pretend be the person who learns to walk beside others rather than on top of everyone else be the person who believes the person who does not need to have anything all at once but over time be the person who learns how to choose who they are every single day the person who built softness over hardness compassion over esteem kindness over cruelty be the person who loves not when it's easy but when it is difficult 
be the person who strives the one who understand and care be the person who grow into becoming their own version of themselves the kind of self you believe yourself you can be the kind of soul that is free to walk their own road sometimes in life you cross the path with someone who instantly makes you feel calm refreshed alive and wholesome they encourage your dreams and celebrate your wins without an ounce of jealousy they just want what is best for you and you for them there is not much more to it they are warm and bright loving and loyal you can't help but feel authentically happy in their presence like the best version of yourself i hope you find people in this life who makes you feel like you are meant to be here who makes you feel like you belong exactly as you are i hope you find the kind of people who calm your soul when you see their face or hear their voice i hope you surround yourself with the kind of people who makes you feel like there is nowhere else you would rather be in this world than right here with them i also hope you find this in yourself too i hope you know that you belong here exactly as you are one day at a time works for everything in good time and bad but is le in the bad it is so easy for your mind to make things real raw hard times look never ending like you will never make it through whether it is legal props finances health issues relationships and family the struggle is real but god only gives you one day at a time more days good or bad are not guaranteed today is it this day what can you do what can't you do and give to god keep it simple live the best you can only one day at a time the thing you lash out about flip out over is probably not really what the problem is stuff is brewing underneath address what is really going on and why is your patience so thin why are not you able to let it go it's time to surrender recommit to trusting that god is working going to work it all out take a deep breath the irritation in front of you is not that big of a deal people are people you can let them be and when you are at a peace you would not need to take your anger out on anyone surrender to god and it is the key to keeping you calm so we are integrating the intense scorpio season in preparation for sagittarius season a test may be offered to see if you have learned the soul growth lesson and will enforce clear boundaries once complete you will continue recovering your original template of union internally and externally in this growth cycle that is begin you will be asked to see how important and powerful you are doing so will help you claim back all of your powerful life force energy and leadership this will complete the opportunity of unity with the most high you have been aligning to during scorpio season so you may soon find yourself leading in some way you can do this while remaining in your feminine energy so don't feel you need to close your heart or shut down your intuition to be a leader today spirit wants you to find the right balance so you can be open to receiving balancing 
but also are ready to take action when the time comes. You are going to be very fulfilled soon and will enjoy a celebration. I have been picking up celebration for quite some time so I don't think it will be long before there is a really good announcement. Your personal connections are leveling up so expect loving experiences and harmonious encounters. Don't forget if you are the one helping others then you need to also take some time for yourself so you can keep recharging. Dear souls, know that when it comes to love, any type of love, it is very important for you to clear and focus on love. Love yourself enough before you pour the love to the others. The reason Spirit wants you to do this so you can create a strong bond relationship with love, patience and understanding with your loved one. Things might not exactly the way you want it to be and for some you might feel stagnant in love. Have a faith and this is just a temporary situation. The divine timing is here to help you. So whether you are single talking to someone or in a relationship, have a faith there is a long term relationship coming in your way. That will fill your cup with so much joy and abundance. This person will be such an amazing partner. However, have a patience because they might play some hard to get or being mysterious. And for some, yes, this person wants more than friendship. They want lifetime partner. Try not to mix up your personal and business emotions are at once. Because at this expect. Your logical will be needed. You have the wisdom and ability within you to find the successful and gain the financial or career you have been wishing for. For some, it might be hardship, race, but have some hope because something is coming more likely after Christmas. If you need to make decision about purchasing something, do some research and be cautious so you will be satisfying at the end. For some, your boss has eyes on you and been thinking to promote you and for some, you are about to overcome the tension at work placement. Dear souls, know that the ones who keep their words, the ones who are there in both the happy and sad moments. The ones you can be vulnerable with, the ones who make you feel understood, the ones who remember tiny details about you, the ones who patiently listen to you talk about something you have already talked about before, the ones who don't try to fix you. But love you for who you are, the ones who correct you when you are at wrong, the ones who make you feel at home, the ones who believe in you, the ones who feel your secrets are safe with. The ones who make you feel good about yourself, the ones who make you love yourself a bit more, the ones who inspire you to do better, the ones you can't imagine your life without and the ones who stay because they wanted to. So dear souls know that.
it is a safe to say that we all would like to be more thankful after all thankfulness has the strongest link to mental and physical well-being of all the personality traits grateful people experience more happiness less stress better sleep and fewer physical complaints the bible supports this research that is one of the reason paul encourages us repeatedly and enthusiastically to rejoice in the lord always but what do we do when we struggle to feel thankful how do we cultivate grateful emotion while it is a true that our thoughts influence our feelings our feelings also impact our thoughts thinking about what we are thankful for can be helpful but it would not reliably lead to feelings of genuine gratitude we may have emotions that are blocking our ability to feel grateful when this happened trying to force ourselves into gratitude because the bible says so will likely lead us into shame the reinforce hiding our emotion from god and further clogs our ability to receive his grace and feel thankful does not work to think or declare our way out of times of grieving or lament we also need to feel our emotion share them and receive empathy from god and his ambassadors this is what facilitates a gratitude that comes from deep within our soul and still for all the years that have passed and all the good vibes you have said and all the beautiful and devastating and wondrous days you have lived there is still so much life ahead of you and there is still so much love here for you and some of your best days have not even come yet some of your favorite people you have not yet met some of your greatest chapters they are still being written and one day you are going to look back and see that life was guiding you and preparing you for something more stunning than you ever know existed something beautiful and honest and fulfilling and true and i promise you are right on time the universe does not miss and what is coming you would not need to force it because it is going to settle deep inside your bones and just flow and you are not just going to survive the years to come you are going to flourish so dear souls know that a tantric goddess sits within an ancient temple of worship she is filled with the ecstasy of divine union which permeates the room in a rainbow of hues radiating from her aura all the colors of the chakras are represented the goddess wears a pink lotus flower symbolizing transcendence in buddhist culture the lotus thrives in muddy water yet reaches beyond the murky depth for the light emerging as a perfect bloom whether you seek spiritual union from within or a physical connection with another the search to rise the surface of illusion towards the light of divine understanding is a worthy goal 
Meditation and sincere self-inquiry help steer you towards a deeper understanding of union by allowing it to emerge naturally within, like the lotus bloom rising from the depths. Union suggests the possibility of a new relationship, special friendship, creative project or meditation. The inwinning of the divine energy of union seek authentic impression. Love may be renewed or there could be the possibility of a reunion between a separated couple. This heavenly energies represented by this message could also signify the answer to your prayer. So dear someone, no. I have a feeling this will leave a scar. I have a feeling you will leave a permanent mark. I have a feeling it will take forever to get over you. So I have a feeling you will paint me golden then leave me lonely in deep shades of blue. I have a feeling you leave a purple brush. I have a feeling you are what I want but not what I need. I have a feeling you would not talk to me again and will never be friends. I have a funny feeling you are not worth the journey, but I will still follow you to the ends of the earth. I have a feeling I will never forget. I have a feeling that you don't care about me the way that I worship you. Dear souls, know that in this muddy water, something beautiful is blooming. I know it's hard to see that right now. It feels like you will never find your way out of this darkness you have been living in. But what you don't know is how close you are to the surface. You can't yet see the light that is waiting for you. How you are going to take your first breath like a petal unfolding. And one by one you will take another and another and slowly softly and you will begin to open up again. And when you step back out into the world you are going to see it through new eyes. And you will know that everything, everything has changed and finally after all this time, you will have unrevealed yourself from the stories you once believed and you will know within every cell of your being. That is what you have been seeking has been within you all along. And in this muddy water, something beautiful is arising. You are closer than you realize. Closer to this sacred new beginnings, rediscovering your own initiate power, opening up, awakening to your own untouchable divinity. Type yes if you have faith and trust in universe, in God and if you want your all wishes come true type amen and if you like this video please subscribe this channel.